Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our Starfield playthrough. This is our fourth entry in our new Starfield series and I hope you guys are enjoying it up to this point. This episode is going to be pretty chill, pretty laid back. Uh, today we're going to be starting our UC security job. We'll be applying for Ryujin or Ryujin, I'm sorry. And then doing some planet exploration. Um, we spend a lot of time doing that throughout this part of the stream. So there's probably going to be another episode following, maybe two episodes with a lot of planet exploration. So um, think of it more as background conversation and noise um, if you want to look at it as you know anything other than just planet exploration. But uh, that's a big part of the beginning of this playthrough as I spend a lot of time resource gathering, discovering locations and things like that for the extra credits for surveying the planet. So that's kind of what we're looking at today. If you've been enjoying the playthrough, make sure you consider subscribing if you're new, if you haven't done so already for more Starfield content, liking the video, sharing it with a friend. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support and be sure to check out our Twitch or kick channels that are linked down in the description below. Come hang out. Let's talk Starfield. Let's talk Fallout. Let's talk anything Bethesda. We'd love to have you. Um, but anyways, let's get into part four of our Starfield playthrough. <laughs> Ryujin Industries, about us. Our mission statement, deliver the best quality life improving technology today before you need it tomorrow. Ryujin, uh, Ryujin Industries has been the leader of technology since its creation. We strive towards advancement and believe there's ways room for improvement. Fulfilling customer desires are number one goal. Was founded by Ray Dakaris and Itaru uh, Saito in 2307. Dakaris had a dream of applying her vast knowledge as a biotech engineer to improving to the improvement of everyday life. And when she met the business-minded Itaru uh, Saito. It was, wasn't long until Ry Ryujin Industries was formed. First product was based on Dakari's neurological research and would prove to be a major breakthrough in technology. The Neuromap, Neuromaps would propel Ryujin to the top of the tech industry and solidify their position as a major contender for years to come. It wasn't long before Ryujin Industries began to look to other major uh, forays into the tech world in 2310. Tayu Astroneering joined Fold and continues to be a leader in spacecraft engineering and design today. It's okay for riding Xbox uh, cloud gaming due to having an X1 uh, CG. Cloud gaming is better for noth than nothing, but have to avoid running in places with much stuff and like New Atlantis, not to mention Red Mile and Neon. Oh, yeah. Because of the, um, like, just the connect, like the internet feed or stream yeah hey if you can make it work where you can play your game i mean that's all that matters you got to do what you got to do that's awesome you make it work <laughs> jim future future <laughs> what's up praise how are you doing tonight with a growing business, Dakaris and Saito worked with Benjamin Bayou to build the massive Ry Ryujin Tower. The incredible effort should showcase the stronger relationship between Ryujin Industries and the city of Neon. Ryujin Industries adding to Neon's prestige as something more than just a pleasure city, and Neon being an attractive bonus to working at Ryujin. Over time, Ryujin Industries would also incorporate a, a boron, I almost read that as abortion, <laughs> a boron drone and tranquility into their family. These subsidiaries would further strengthen Ryujin as a formidable competitor and expand their reach into different aspects of life. Today, Ryujin continues to be an industry leader with eyes always pointed towards the future. Neuroamps. Doing some relic grinding on Final Fantasy. Very nice, dude. 
I got on today before my stream. I have managed to not miss any login days for ESO this month. I log in every single day and I'm excited because at 5 a.m. when they reset, I will get the wax that I need to almost have enough to level up my weapon to an exotic. I'm very excited. You know, Jim, you'd hope that issue we'd move past it as a human species by that point in time, but we'll see. <laughs> Millions of people benefit from our neuroamps every day. Neuroamps are designed to improve overall brain function in order to boost your quality of life. They've been used in medical monitoring, neurological healing, and mental stabilizers to help with sleep, anxiety, and social skills. The first NeuroAmp was created by Rai DeCaries, a biotech engineer who specialized in neurological designs. DeCaries was determined what's up, babe? to harass the power of the mind to improve aspects of everyday life. While initially only approved for military use, NeuroAmps became a public commodity in 2315 and continue to be Ryogen's primary product today. What's up? Going to bed? Oh, do you have an update for this stuff? Okay. Okay. That's fine. I just wanted to see if you had a time frame. That you thought. We'll probably get it done tomorrow. So, like, next week? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Well, if I say that, it'll be, be done? Mm -hmm. You sure? Okay. Yeah. Okay. As I'll tell, I'll tell him. I don't want you. I don't want to put pressure on you. I know. Okay. I love you. Okay. You have a good night. I'll probably be to bed soon. I'm getting tired. Uh, I'm going to get up at 9. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. I love you, too. That is the diamond of my life. Uh, you, uh, right about there is fine because it's just not, it's out of shot. And it's opening up. Uh, quite used back in the 90s. I played Quake on 486 PC as well as GP2. They were a bit laggy, have to say. Quake 2 guy. A uh, grunge bob. Yep. Yeah, kiss the girl. Uh. Oh, so what we, her and I were talking about, she's working on our new bit badges and sub badges and so i was just getting a confirmation um she said they should be done this upcoming week and let's just say they fit the game game wise the premise of this channel they're pretty great i'm excited what's up grunge bob how are you you know, I've never played a uh, Quake. Like I played like the arcade Quake one time pretty recently, like a few months ago for fun to just check it out because I've never played it before. It's pretty badass. See the latest news at the Ryujin Industries as leading technology corporation in the settled systems. We love to keep our customers up to date. All articles are written by Ryujin Industries marketing department celebrating 20 years. This is their 20th anniversary this year. Back in 2310, Simon Tayo, the son of Tayo Astroneering's founder, signed a deal with Ryogen Industries to become their first official subsidiary. Two, uh, the two companies have since celebrated incredible innovations in spacecraft engineering. Tayo has remained a top competitor in the spacecraft industry ever since. In uh, commemoration of the historic moment, Ryogen threw a massive gala at the Astral Lounge. It was said that in Neon's most prestigious events of the year, several other CEOs were in attendance, including Synthetic Solutions, Bastion Porter, and Hope Tech's very own Ron Hope. Rai Dakaris herself also made an appearance as one of the founders and made a toast alongside uh, Masako, Imada, and Simon Tayu to future success. Want to drop by for a hot minute to hang out before bed? Yeah, dude. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out, man. Seriously. It's good to see you. Oh, yo, Grunge. And really anybody that's uh, into Marvel, X-Men, comics. Hey, 
It came in. Let's go. Thing is in like mint condition, dudes. Freaking mint. Oh, it's so in. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't tell you guys, but yeah, we, we won the we won the bid war on eBay. <laughs> Got it for forty bucks before shipping. Shipping was a little pricey, but it came in a nice little cardboard box and was like not able to be damaged. Yeah, so it was worth it. I would say Starfield's improved pretty significantly. It runs really well. Like, you definitely have to put on M.2 still, but, I mean, it's been good so far. I mean, I haven't done a lot of space exploration yet in combat, but because uh, we've just been exploring New Atlantis and doing a lot of, like, fetch quests, but the game's running really well. The world map... Um, the world map quality of life improvement of it being 3d and having layers to and stuff. It's definitely an improvement. Oh, apparently, uh, Ryujin industries has announced that they are once again, hiring the best and brightest of the settled systems as a corporation. We're always taking on new hires. However, public announcements of job opportunities are rarely seen making this a first in the past two years. We hope that many aspiring engineers and opportunists will see this and their chance to join our ever growing team. Our latest ad campaign for interest interested candidates can be heard in both New Atlantis and Neon. Our job applications available in Ryzen Information Kiosk. But uh, yeah, I, I would I would say um, how many years of experience do you have working as a secretarial position in corporate environment? None. Basic knowledge. What's your proficiency in computers regarding typing and file management? Hi. I'm going to say I have a master's plus. Nope. Submit application. Can you imagine how many credits flow through this place? Figuratively, of course. But yeah, I mean, just from the flow of everything it's it's been already a, a much better experience wow. you look completely different <laughs> but yeah um uh, oh wait that's not what i wanted to go to i wanted to go to this over here Yeah, there's like little things that I'm like, okay, this could, would be nice, that would be nice, but I feel like a lot of that's just going to be mods that could improve it. Bobby mentioned he met you. Sad. But yes, uh, new sub badges, new bit badges coming. And then once we get those established and done, we're going to be getting you guys some new emotes and things of that nature. So I'm pretty excited. All big changes and improvements one day at a time. Ship building, decide where ladders and doors go. Why not stairs? But now there, when there's mods. Oh yeah, they added some mods for that. That's cool. That's very cool. Hello, sir. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your, uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with a Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Uh, maybe later. I have consolation business to discuss. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? 
Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. We'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. They say where I found this ornament of his. You'll have to ask him. But Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Okay. Well, thank you for your help. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. All right, let's go talk to um, homie that's trying to been trying to get my attention over here. Oh, nice, GG's praise. That'll be good, dude. That'd be a nice little thing to wrap up. You said you weren't a big fan of the. See, the daily logins were a lot of crafting stuff this month for ESO. I meant to answer you that earlier. My brain just like registered you type that in the chat a lot of like crafting things sarah's a bit of a goody two-shoe like literally <laughs> i was talking to that bartender and, and she was like oh yeah i had something like uh taken in the customs and it's locked away and it's being investigated and i and i was just like yeah i'll help you and she was immediately like sarah dislike that and i was like you didn't even give me a chance to like see how to approach this <laughs> you're just immediately like i didn't like that you said you'd help this person i'm glad i finally caught up with you i'm from the trackers alliance and we have a proposal for you Yeah, you said you're not ready to to craft. I mean, I'm spending a lot of time. I've got a lot of my crafting. I think I have my woodworking, leather, and my blacksmithing all to like level 40. So, and I'm trying to like work on being able to build things for the guild house. So if you're just not interested in doing any of that, just put it in the guild bank. Like literally just put it in the guild bank and just leave a note or message in the um, guild chat that like, hey, I'm putting all this in there for Dan so he can use it for making stuff for the guild house or whatever. A proposal? But I don't even know you. What? Oh, got it. You're trying to make a joke. <laughs> Emphasis on trying. Yes, it's a proposal. No, not that kind of proposal. The Trackers Alliance has been following your exploits and believe you have what it takes to join our ranks. You're being invited to our new headquarters in Aquila City. Disaster. With agent Fuck. number one. Right. If you decide to consider our offer, they'll guide you through our initiation process. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> I don't want your quest. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, you idiot. <laughs> you didn't like any of the companions. You said they're all dumb. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> I have questions. I'd expect you do. Why should I join the Trackers Alliance? 
Well, if you have any inclination of being a bounty hunter, then this is the best deal you're going to get. I'm not here to convince you. I've just been instructed to deliver the message. Your questions will be best answered by Agent Number One at the HQ. Where's the old tracker's HQ? Well, there's a reason for that. It used to be on a remote planet in a remote part of the galaxy. Agent Number One decided that it would be better if we had more of a public presence. So we purchased the old McCall estate and turned it into our headquarters. What if you do? Well, I would hope that you'd seriously consider our offer. It doesn't matter to me. You're free to make your own choices. I found you, I delivered my message, so my job here is done. Okay, then. I suppose we will. I'll be heading out soon if there's nothing more. Remember, Tracker's Alliance HQ in Aquila City. Speak to agent number one. Number one. Everything good? We're here to help. Spaceport. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> Just left her. <laughs> Just jumped on the transport and left her there. I save everyone every day in this game. And now I got to go save this cat. <laughs> you save that kitty cat. It needs some love. You go save that sweet baby. <laughs> <laughs> Becker's talking some mad shit. That's how you know somebody's got some hours in a game when they're just talking shit about the NPCs. Heading to bed, Jim. Dude, thank you so much for hanging out. Sarah, good to see you. Listen, I uh, smoothed over that instant. We'll be back live on Monday, okay, Jim? I might possibly stream tomorrow night. It just depends on what time I get done with uh, my errands tomorrow, okay? But I appreciate it just the same. Not a problem. In the meantime, maybe you could tell him to take it down a notch. Can do. Thanks again, Sergeant. Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. A job? Tell me about it. Part-time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave. Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask. Do you have night, any Jim. security experience at all? Oh, yeah, totally. I was head of security for the Astral Lounge Hell Neon for like eight years. I had a run in with a Crimson Fleet. I don't know if that counts. It sure counts for something. I mean, you're alive. And resilience is definitely an important trait for any officer. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop, and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. Oh, disaster. Look at my baddie. Look at my little baddie.
<laughs> I thought the ES Oblivion was bad when it can't comes to NPCs. Starfield's on a totally different level. <laughs> Nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> Especially now because you're drunk. Hell yeah. Let's see, what is this up here I'm going to? She said, what's up, bro? She wants to know what's up with you. So I'm, I'm going to find out. Okay. 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 Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed. Inside. She, she said, you know, she's not sure if you could handle this. That's what she told me to tell you. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of my division's work. The fewer people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis, the easier my job is. I was asked to pick something up. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Thanks, I guess. Oh, it wasn't a compliment. Just an observation. <laughs> In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from the to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets brought It's like the equivalent of looking at somebody just going, Hey, you got big tits. <laughs> All right. Tell me where to pick Head it up. And that to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped onto one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. Good luck with the mission. I have a big hint. You think of mining? Leave your companion strapped with a hug yourself jacket. Dude. In con comment to that, whenever I was like out trying to just hey, observe sir, something. You come to a list at long last, start earning your stripes with the Vanguard. The, uh, I'm not gonna do that yet. This Vanguard shit. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, the, the robot, uh, fuck, what's his name? Vosco. Yeah. Vosco. Like <laughs> we, uh, we were out, I was out mining and this damned robot just ran up to a terror, terror, uh, terror morph, like the big spider monster guy and started trying to fight him. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? The data from the Biosyn, let's hope that Mast takes these findings seriously. Okay, I still have to wait. I haven't waited long enough. Like, what are you doing, brother? Oh, dude, I fell asleep. I literally fell asleep. I told you. And then I woke up and started streaming. I have not even looked at my phone. 
<laughs> insane. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Whenever I don't have to be on my phone, I don't look at it, bro. I don't get on it. I don't open Snapchat. I'll check it out in a minute. Cause you, I did tell you to tell me the story and then I totally did not uh, open it up cause I fell asleep. All right, Sergeant Yumi, where or oh, where are you? <laughs> no, 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 I get it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the uh, AI is not very good for stealth. Go ahead. Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. I think I remember that doing a sense. stealth mil mission with Sarah. Around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? It's a good way to find people with initiative. Oh, yeah. Once I had a recruit who was basically bred to be UC security. I mean, his favorite book was our training manual. He knew every rule every procedure and on top of that was a pinpoint marksman but he lacked exactly what you were talking about initiative he ended up transferring to a desk job after a year anyway here's your payment <laughs> and if i have any more work for you i'll let you know two thousand let's go Dude, I've done so much questing here. Like, this is no funny stuff with that pretty wild. Alright, let's see. Let's, uh, miscellaneous. <laughs> Disaster, you are definitely drunk, my, my boy. My brother. Having a good time over there. I like it. Recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. There was a small bit of dust on your shoulder. <laughs> how dare it try to spoil the protection? Oh man, how dare it? I blew it off. Oh, wait, what? Oh. That guy is like me as a mod. <laughs> yeah. There's a speck of dust in the chat. Banned. Good morning, Clay. Cracking me up, dudes. Cracking me up. All right, we're going to go do some exploring. Clay, how are you today?
I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Hey, Xander. There's got to be something useful out here. All right, fully scan. The game of games yeah yeah man we're just checking it out dude i've been playing it for about five hours five or six hours i literally just spent the entire stream just doing all the uh introductory and base game stuff or base game base uh like kind of tutorial stuff so i'm just now kind of getting out of new atlantis and starting to do exploration stuff But they added a lot of uh, quality of life stuff, so that's why I'm giving it a try. I guess I'm at that high quality HUO. Oh, hello. Let's do this. That's all you guys. I'm not getting involved in that. How are you tonight? Ooh, a crocodile. Oh, Jesus. Fucking. That scared the shit out of me. Why am I walking? God, that scared the fuck out of me. Why am I just walking now? Oh, there we go. God, that scared me, dude. been sober for about 10 minutes <laughs> you're welcome glad you're doing good <laughs> happy to ask again <laughs> nice praise yeah the map improvements are really really nice to me like that's been the best part so far very much so needed that
your sober disaster oh i 100 percent believe it this is the dlc when the giant skyrim sends you into space <laughs> Yeah, did you make the heel paste for me? You probably made it up, didn't you, uh, Xander? Just for me, huh? better be following you better be subscribed to our youtube channel and you better be in our discord said disaster <laughs> just kidding i said all that but you know if you want to keep up with everything you should do all those things sneaking around on a planet full of terra more suddenly one popped up like two three meters away i mean three others roaming around since before within like 20 10 to 20 meter proximity luckily they never realized i was there yeah i had one just like it was on that starter like moon earlier tonight and the robot just ran to it and decided he wanted wanted to fight it and i was like all right this is happening I just ran away. I was like, it's all you, bro. It's all you. Tastes like cherry. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Totally. I already have that one marked. Okay, never mind. Scan, scan. Okay, let's go over here. <laughs> Kiwi the rat bastard. That's true. That's true. I, I could always put them in a hug jacket and leave them on the ship. Could always put Sarah in a hug, a personal hugging device and leave her on the ship with the, my biggest fan, my fan boy. I'm impressed Sarah didn't say, oh man, you stole that out of there. That wasn't yours. I really thought she'd be like giving me a hard time for that. Yeah, it's a mining laser. Mm-hmm.
Apparently I'm over encumbered. <laughs> you leave that man. You leave that man out the dry, huh? Hey, turtle, you have a good night, dude. <laughs> Dang calling you out that's crazy brother straight up ignored Look, man, I gotta ignore you a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not proactively ignore your snaps. I check them whenever I open Snapchat, which is not very common for me to do. <laughs> Such an idiot. All right, we're working on that. I'm gonna level this up. <laughs> Whatever. I like that, you said you visit her only one to two times, or visit him one to two times per week. Per week, in real time. I like that. <laughs> see Xander ignores your snaps see I don't ignore them I just read them at a later time whenever I'm not doing anything and I have time to sit and take in the information my brain the way it works I cannot just be like look at something and have just a few oh, seconds to look at it and not actually take it in you're gonna go to bed depressed why are you going to depressed going to depressed going to bed depressed Oh, whatever. <laughs> Going to depressed. Oh. This is a community I cultivated. Oh, Jesus. Are you geeking, Mr. Crack? <laughs> SpongeBob, me boy, I'm geeking.
there. Time to get moving. Oh, are you talking about the crew, Clay? Yeah, they did that. They shut that, shut the servers down. I think, uh, did they do that? It's like, ow, I think they did that. Uh, oh, what the hell? Oh, hello. These idiots. These idiots. Ah! Sarah, you moron. You walked right in front of me, you idiot. <laughs> what are you doing? This is stupid. literally walked in front of me. Yeah, no, they fully closed everything, dude. I don't know enough about it right now, but there was like this guy leading this thing called, um, it was, oh, what was it called? It was like, it was called like save our games or something like that. And it was, um, it was in regards to, um, trying to make it where companies just can't just do that for no reason, like where they can't just for no reason shut down game servers like that without providing like a guesstimate of time of how long <laughs> just saw the name of that clip friendly fire by the way disasters drunk trust me buddy we all know it's okay Another proof of what I've been on about. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sir, you are correct. I didn't say your name, you stupid phone. Don't rush the sky. Yeah, I know. She walks in front of me whenever somebody's just walking by, but then whenever I'm actually getting attacked by something, she's just like, I'm going to sit back here behind this rock. Like, bro. Yep. Yeah, it happened a little while ago. Yeah, I saw what Activision did with Modern Warfare Remastered. I mean, dude, that's why I just... Honestly, like, that's really a big part of why I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to play these games anymore or, like, go out of my way to pay full price for them because... Stuff like that is just absurd. You have a Modern Warfare 2 remastered game out, but that game only has single player. There's no multiplayer for it, none at all. Somebody made it where it's required to purchase the multiplayer or the uh, story, the single player campaign, so they can access a mod to play multiplayer. But then they come and fucking strike it down. That's ridiculous. 
And that's really why I don't go out of my way to play those other games anymore because I'll still play them. You know, I'm never going to say, oh, I don't play Call of Duty anymore because obviously that would be a lie. I do, but I don't play it as much as I used to. And I don't really go out of my way to buy stuff for it anymore because yeah. Oh yeah, they, yeah, that will definitely hurt and impact Black Ops 6, but also at the same time, not really. They're putting Black Ops 6 on Game Pass. That's where they're going to maintain their player base, if you ask me. You're going to be carrying that gooey mess, right? Oh, I got some gooey mess for you, Sarah. I am so sorry. That was so inappropriate. I'm canceled. Yeah, I mean, as much as I'm going to be real, it would be, you know, people think, oh, you, oh, Dan, you want to see Call of Duty fail. You want to see a game fail. You want to see this fail, that fail. I don't want to see it fail. I just want to see them do right by their fan base. And they're never going to because they're consumed by greed. And that's the problem. They are so consumed by greed that they would rather bury their, their uh, IP into the ground than let anybody do any kind of fan passion project for it that would honestly revitalize that franchise if they let them do it or just hire those people to make that game and charge $40 $50 for it unfollow you're not sorry sir she said it I just acknowledged it jeez canceled Cancelled, I suppose, huh? All right, all right, fair enough. What I deserve. <laughs> 